Good morning from Cause of Our Joy Golden Doodles. Gabby here. Uh, it's a warm, sunny, and beautiful Saturday morning on our farm. And I decided it was a great opportunity to try my hand at live video. This is my very first live video, so please forgive my potential clumsiness. Uh, if you can, please let me know how I did by liking or even sharing our video. I really appreciate your feedback. I'm constantly learning and trying to improve. Um, I have the camera turned around, so you also get a glimpse of ador our adorable uh, pups playing and exploring outside. We have Lulu, our nanny here as well with them for now at least. She seems to enjoy them and is very patient with them. She's had puppies of her own before and she was a very loving and patient mama to them as well. So it's a great opportunity for our puppies to be socialized with a safe dog. Um, they are in their first fear period so it's very important to keep an eye on things that potentially could frighten them. Okay, so let's talk puppies. Um, today I'd like to talk a little bit about our puppy matching process. Uh, Coco's mini golden doodles are now five and a half weeks old, an awesome age. Uh, they're less like babies and more like little dogs every day, um, but still young enough not to get into too much mischief. Uh, for instance, uh, for now, they don't run very far from me, but soon I'll be chasing after them as they explore further and further. Um, so, um, it is kind of hard to believe. I only have a short time with them, less than three weeks or so. Uh, time seems to fly in the summer. We still have two spots left for reservations, so if anyone's watching, and is interested or know someone who may be, let me know and we'll add you in uh, before our puppy picks. Um, we will assess these cuties temperament and personality in about a week, week and a half, and then make our recommendations to our families. Where are you all? <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> um, so we don't simply go by first come, first serve. Um, as in my experience, at least, um, sometimes families who are harder to place pups with, mainly because of their circumstances, like having very young children, or another dog already, or first-time owners. Um, so these families may come in later in the process. So I may have already given the perfect dog for them to another family who may be a lot more flexible. Um, Honestly, I think that most of our pups do awesome with most families, but even if it's just one family that I can help this way, I feel it's worth the effort. Um, of course, we're constantly assessing our puppies throughout the day with every interaction we have with them. Um, so I have my children help me with that as well. I feel the more eyes, the better. Uh, I find that they tend to pay more attention than me, uh, probably because I'm always busy doing something while they get more free time with the pups. Um, and so I rely heavily on their opinion uh, when I need to figure out especially differences between puppies. You know, they're all playful, they're all sweet, they're all cuddly, they're all affectionate for the most part. Uh, it's the little differences that... Um, we're looking for usually. Um, anyways, um, so, um, but they do change a lot still. So they're very malleable at this young age. Um, so as they grow, we try to shape them the best way we can to bring out the positive and work on anything that we think the individual puppy needs. Um, for instance, if one of the pups is not very confident, we uh, work on building their confidence. At this age, 
Uh, they're in their primary socialization period. Um, so this is when they pick up everything easily and quickly. And so um, you can achieve the same result from just a couple of experiences, um, really, uh, as a few months of training on the same thing uh, with an older pup. So um, we don't take this responsibility lightly. Try to encourage all of our families to go and create as many experiences as they can uh, with their puppies while their pups are still in this formative period uh, because they will get the best results with minimal effort. We have a lot of rooster noise in the background. I apologize. Hopefully everybody can hear me. So I actually, I think I will stop here with this first video. Um, and um, again, two spots left in this litter. So feel free to reach out if you're interested or know someone who may be. We do have a referral program. And with any referral that ends in an adoption, I show my appreciation by giving that person $200 for recommending us. So again, please like and share this video, comment, uh, and uh, let me know if you have any recommendations. And thanks again, and goodbye now.